guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying our series so far. We've got a few more episodes to go of our travels in France. Mm -hmm. um, this one, of course, um, we're going to be showing you some of the day trips uh, we've taken from our campsite in saint o Golf. Mm, yeah, just south of Fréjou, where we've, uh, where, if you've seen the last film, we had just arrived. Yes, absolutely. And we did do some wonderful trips. We went to an amazing restaurant in La Bomette. Yes, that was yeah. nice, wasn't it? That yeah. was absolutely yeah. incredible. Um, we went for a swim there. The snorkeling was amazing. It was just mm. a beautiful little cove that we discovered along the, off the main road. Mm. was well, very nice indeed. We also did a revisit to Saint-Tropez. That was because, uh, of course, you've got to go and have a look at a few of those super yachts. Well, and I um, wanted to collect some um, some more sea glass and some more pottery bits mm -hmm. for my crafting that I do in my spare time throughout yeah. the winter. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward, uh, well, I was looking forward to collecting some more um, pottery, which I did find, didn't I? Mm, yeah, we did. We had a bit of luck there. And finally, I think there's a bit of footage of a lovely little uh, settlement called Saint Maxime as well, which is sort of between Fréjou and Saint Tropez. So enjoy um, a little bit of those trips we did whilst uh, whilst camped out or leaving the van, I should say, at Santai Golf. Most of it out on Peggy the scooter, of course. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy some of the scenery. Well, we've chained Peggy to a nearby bin, which I'm sure she, Peggy won't to be too upset about. But it is, uh, it is a tad warm, 30 odd degrees already, but we just couldn't resist as we were biking by. Look at the colour of that and how clear it is. So we thought we'd toddle down onto the beach with a couple of snorkels and go for a dip because it's probably over 30 now and absolutely glorious. And look at that, wow. Hardly a breath of wind in this corner. Look how still that water is. Lovely little beach restaurant. I think we might have a bit of lunch first. It's about half 12. Oh, the decisions you've got to make. Oh, some sardines as well. Fantastic. Well, look at those grilled prawns. Bit of a burger going on with a bit of pancetta in there. Wow, yum. Well, Nikki has uh, disappeared out there. Just see the red top with a snork sticking up. Look how clear the water is. See the tiny little fish everywhere.
Saint-Tropez again, enjoying being here again, Rose. Well, only for me to check the pottery. <laughs> yes, yes. We like doing a bit of... <laughs> yes, it's like we collect sea glass here and there. Um, but there was also, last time we were here on the um, Old Town, by the Old Town Beach, um, there was actually a lot of old pottery pieces on the uh, in and amongst the shingles. So that's on our list also. But of course, being about midday -ish, after the ride into Saint-Tropez, it's probably getting a bit close to, let's find a lunch stop. If you've caught our... Um, film that we did last year from the old town in Saint-Tropez, you'll know that it's a lovely, uh, a lovely area. Some of these little um, quaint back streets are really pretty. And the little restaurants and cafes that are scattered around the old town here. And then straight ahead, as you see, we've got that crazy mix of, uh, of super yacht up against the backdrop of what our ancient, ancient part of Saint-Tropez housing such a it's such an incredible mix but um but always worth a stroll around if you're down this part of the world the boats here just dwarfing the uh, dwarfing the houses mad and a quick snackette look i even arranged nikki to be serenaded by the guy there But mainly because Nikki didn't want to go far from the ice creams that are just behind us there. Look at those yummy flavours. You may be having one of those a bit later, mightn't you? Just maybe. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> Fancy trading in your moho for one of these, then uh, you might need to add a little bit of cash to it, I suspect. I think if we traded our moho in, we could probably just afford this uh, mat and the table and chairs that are sitting outside this one. <laughs> That's what we could afford. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> traded in the moho. You can just just have the table and chairs. <laughs> you can sit on there pretending you owned it. Owned it. Gosh, and a look, a tiny little one in comparison, a little azimut. That's probably a tender boat for one of the uh, for one of the bigger ones. There's that much money here. And there you go. That's uh, that's a bit of nervous reversing going on here as they work their way down, keeping their fenders very close to hand. A bit like reversing a motorhome into a pitch, I think. Perhaps a tiny bit bigger. And he's probably used 150 gallons of fuel reversing into this space, whereas I might have used a thimbleful. Crazy me indeed. That's what you call a tight fit. The life of a deckhand. Wax on, wax off. Work your way along the boat. 
certainly not going to be short of a job, are they? It takes even longer than waxing a motorhome, home, I reckon, doing that. Bit of a uh, bit of a serious hookup cable on these as well. A bit bigger than ours. bit of a breeze but also uh, a lovely old part of the uh, town there. Beautiful isn't it? As you can see that a little bit of southerly wind that's coming up. It's just about 30 degrees at the moment, we're in the middle of the day. But that breeze, southerly breeze coming up from, it's just bringing a wee bit of, uh, wee bit of chop on the sea. Hence there aren't many super yachts out there playing with their uh, water toys because it's a bit choppy for them. Can't have the boat moving up and down, surely. And then just a little stroll around the side of the, uh, side of the harbour there. And you're away from everybody. Lovely. And we came, uh, so that'll be the road back out. We came all the way down the coast this morning. So you saw some, some of that footage. Freju is just about sort of over there. So it was only about uh, about 20 miles, I guess, from uh, from where we're where we're parked up. Lovely run in down there. Useful having Peggy to scoot to avoid. Uh, some of the traffic in and out of Saint Tropez gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. And Nicky still on the search for Saint Tropez, if there was such a word. Pottery and glass. Let's have a look. See what you got here, lovelies. Oh yes, look. Some lovely bits there, aren't they? Look at that. Wow, that's lovely. Yes. Yeah. For more of Nikki's fabulous artwork, <laughs> I'll stick some yeah. photos up uh, or stick a link to her uh, little Etsy site where she uh, sells some of her um, artwork that she makes with all of this, uh, all these bits of pottery and glass. Well, yeah, see, does I mean, some does some lovely job with it. Does a lovely job with it. Yeah, and some to pay pottery is just you know. <laughs> Will it command like four times the price or? No. <laughs> Certainly a load scattered on this beach, that's for sure. And then just right at the distance there, that furthest promontory, um, in the distance, that's the peninsula where, um, where all your super rich, and I mean super, super rich and famous live. Um, check out the channel, we've got that film where we took a boat trip up from Le Lavendu, came up round that peninsula and then uh, round into Saint Tropez Harbour. And we went past a lot of the, um, and the guy who was uh, piloting the boat was pointing out a lot of uh, who lives where on the peninsula. Some of the old uh, battlements as well, as you can see, you can walk up there. It's a nice, uh, nice little view from up there as well. And these lovely little side streets with the uh, Oleander and Bougainvillea. Such a contrast to all those modern, modern bits to uh, the rest of Saint Tropez. The old town is absolutely lovely. Lots of references to fish, as you can imagine, and a very ancient fishing port here. That was the old town. Look at 
like that. What to do when you haven't got a garden? It's not beautifully done. A little piece of heaven up there. Lovely. Oh yes. Time for an ice cream, is it? I thought it might be. <laughs> So Nikki's had her eye on uh, getting herself an outfit. So she said, "Oh, that blue one's quite nice." And then we looked at the uh, so the uh, so the dress is four thousand euros. The uh, the hat is seven hundred euros. Then uh, the shoes down there they're six hundred and ninety euros. Um, yeah. And the pair of trousers she's got underneath, those white trousers, a mere 900 euros. So, not much really, what do you think? Should we pop in there and get that, or shall we just get an ice cream instead? Uh, no, perhaps we should just get an ice cream. <laughs> Definitely just an ice cream, I think. <laughs> That's when you can see the prices, obviously. Wow. 10, 13,000, gosh. No ratners here. And of course, if you've got the extra pound or two, then to get yourself a little run around when you're, uh, when you're on the quayside, then why not buy a little Bugatti Chiron? Or a roller? Get your own space next to your yacht. What are they? Chiron, about three million dollars at the moment. Holy smokes. No wonder he's got it roped off. Yeah, probably his and hers, I expect, or his and his, or hers and hers. Hmm, I'll have two. And then on the way out of the harbour, if you've got a really, really big boat, then you know you've made it because you can't, it's that big that you can't actually get it into the harbour that we've just been walking around. So Yalla over there over the other side. That's just too deep to even get into the harbour. Wow. Yeah, you can see it appearing, covering the whole of the back of this one. It's enormous, that one at the back there. Just stunning, even this, these, uh, well, I say smaller, even these less mahusive ones are absolutely lovely. Look at them, beautiful. And here's Peggy, look at that, parts are right next to the local, the local Nick, so. There was not much chance of her getting uh, getting snaffled, parked at the nick. Right, time to get super hot and put on a bike helmet. So, a stop in little San Maxime. Oh, there's a UK plate there as well. Not seen many of them on the French Riviera. Very nice run over from Central Pay. Pretty little square. In fact, a few days ago, that's where we, I think we came out on that road when we drove over from sunny Spain. Lovely French dining. Roadside packed out, you're never short of somewhere to nosh. Mmm, 
smell of the herbs here. Mint and basil, wow. What a lovely little street. Look at those overhead decorations. Very pretty. Some lovely little shops here. Artsy and crafty. In amongst all your lovely um, grocers and, and of course, ice cream and souvenir bits. The Beagle's the perfect t-shirt if you've got a beagle. Well, there's some interesting... I could wear one of those, couldn't I, Rose? As I'm severely lacking in hair, I could replace it with that. I don't know about that, though. that's a bit of a different mannequin. Yeah, that's definitely a bit different, that is. Uh, let me just have a look from the side. Oh yeah, I can see some... Se <laughs> oh, that's even more colour, that one. Sun's definitely got through now. We're up into the 30s. Lovely though, nice heat and a breeze. Bring it on. Time for a coffee. They certainly love their street decorations. Look at this street, isn't that lovely? Beautifully done. And the shops as well, look how, how beautifully they're done. Can't think of can't think of too many high streets in the UK like it. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Lovely. Just about uh, about half three now in the afternoon, and a lot of these little stalls are just setting up. Run right through into the evening. Really nice, um, really nice little atmosphere they create. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the amazing French obsession with boule or pétanque. Oh my word, look at that one. That's definitely got the, uh, got the edge at the moment. Let's see if he can beat it. It's gonna take some beating, that one. Oh, that dealt with it, yeah. Although I think one touched the jack, or whatever they call the little ball. Perfect shady spot. Out of the crazy heat. Lovely. Measuring devices out, look at that. There's no messing around here, you know. Dead serious, all this stuff, isn't it? See, they've got the measures out. Wow. It is definitely quite a favourite pastime, that's for sure. Very nice too, though. Very relaxing. Look, even some seats there to sit and watch the action. If you, of course, have got the... Uh, got the chance to bring electric bikes or uh, or perhaps a Peggy equivalent scooter then uh, you can see that um, all the towns we've been to are so so well set up for uh, scooter travel and lucky bikes and uh, I mean obviously you can hire them down here but it's certainly a fantastic way to get around the towns parking's always free obviously and uh, very well catered for and marked and signed lots of dedicated scooter parking so it is, uh, it's a great way if you leave the moho slightly out of town and can get yourself into the town then it's, uh, it makes, makes getting around um, quite a bit easier. If I see a price for hiring uh, scooters down here I'll uh, stick it in the comments below but um, I haven't actually noticed yet what it costs to hire a scooter down here. But I'm sure it's not too bad. Look, you can even get a little 
a little tourist train round the town. Eight pound, eight euros there. Five euros for kids. Lovely in the harbour as well. Where I'm sure there'll be, uh, well, as you can see there, dive boats, very popular this time of year. Out on the dive boats. And some lovely alternative places to eat as well. Down on the marina there. Certainly is a place to own a boat. You certainly wouldn't need the cover on much. Well, shade you from the sun, I expect, but not a lot else. Wouldn't need to worry about getting rained on that often, I don't suppose. That would do me just fine. A little rib like that. Very nice. Right, Peggy's over here. Hiding in a bit of shade there, are you? <laughs> Yeah, don't blame you. Off back to uh, Resi the Moho now. We're going to uh, get packed up now. Um, we're going to potter off in the morning and head a little bit north inland into the mountains um, towards the Verdon Gorge. So we'll see you, no doubt see you, up and around towards Verdon.